WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 16, NASDAQ up 6, S&P's up 8.5, gold contract up $28.40 at $17.80 an ounce. We had silver up 58 cents, $23.70 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 10, $67.97 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 18.6, trading at 134.01. The 30 year bond up a full point, almost two points, a point and 23 ticks, trading out at 164.20. 10 year right now is yielding 1.28%, folks. Uh, King Dollar. King Dollar gave up uh, 534 ticks, trading 92.502. Euro at 117, yen at 109.56, and the British pound at 138 to 1, the U.S. dollar. We get over to the SPY first. What you're going to see, you're going to see another all time high inside the SPY. 33 million shares traded. You're at uh, 445.95. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. NDX out here, bottom line, you went higher. And it's a wicked contraction of volume, man. 18 million shares. Last high, which was light volume, had 21 million shares. So it's pretty intense, folks. There's no doubt about that. Bottom line is that we've been up here right now for four weeks. You know, four weeks ago, the high of the queues was 368.45. Today, it's 368.82. Four weeks ago, you did 199 million. We did 139 million this week, 147 million last week. So... It needs a catalyst to go higher. Gold. Gold contract did what it had to do, meaning getting back in a larger range. And for you folks that are into candlestick charting, this is a beautiful thing. Why? It's going to be one of the biggest hammers that you've seen on a weekly basis, more than likely uh, for quite some time. If we put this on a, a weekly basis, what you're going to see is laid out pretty nice. We're at 1775. You got back in high, inside the higher range, which is 1769. We had a low for the week of 1692. We had the high of 1777. And bottom line, the big in, in, in the bigger range, that's saying that gold now is going to go for 1916. That's the next move out here inside the gold market. So it's a beauty. We take a look at the dollar index, and this is going to be the kicker for, for all us uh, folks in the middle market. Bottom line, we had it going with us today, down 500 ticks. I suspect we're going to go to the lower end of this, which is 91,782. Bottom line, if you break it, then you got action. Uh, the yen is going with us. The yen is getting much stronger, but stronger all day. That's why you saw gold go higher. And it looks to me like the yen is going to continue to get stronger, which will bring the Nikkei down and bring gold higher. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, 9 a.m. Have a great one. Have a safe one.